Hello and welcome back. Here's the players. Hello. I actually had a relatively quick break for once. What is this madness? Insanity. We're far too organised. <sighs> I'm really quite uncomfortable well, with it all. Um, cool. So we pick back up with yes, the conference of the leaders of Cecil Road. Cecil Road annual meeting. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I guess midnight, you, you called this meeting to order, and everyone is... They're slowly able to draw their eyes away, but, you know... <laughs> as there's still a level of distraction, so uh, what do you, do you do, or do you just kind of... What, what, what does midnight do? Do you really want me to answer that when I'm eating? God damn it, woman. Give me like. Two okay. Oh no. Okay. That question. <laughs> so maybe in fiction, like midnight, just like oh, I haven't actually like eaten in like twelve hours. <laughs> so just reaches behind like into Stein's pantry, pulls out like a cereal, like some kind of refined like processed point, shit. If if we if we check a clock, has time actually like passed? Yeah. Um, I think there's probably there's definitely gonna be some time pieces in Stein's place with his yeah wealthy supply of random junk from the past. Yeah, it's so, been like twelve hours by the looks of it. It's been twelve hours. Cool. Well, eleven because otherwise you wouldn't be able to tell. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, cool. Right. Um, yeah. So I think we kind of. We're possibly still like arguing as we still take shit yes. off. So. I assumed there was no like level of everyone being really sophisticated no. and grown up about this. Um, so, so it's just kind of like, uh, all right, Stein fucked up. <laughs> you fucked up. But we need to work out how the fuck we're getting out of this. Uh, I took care of the two guys outside to make sure that they didn't do anything, but they appeared to already be dead. Do you mind if I just go check if they were dead? Because I was a little bit distracted. Well, we know where. I, I, sort of, I look. I look to midnight. I like. I ignore everyone else. I look to midnight. I'm like, do you mind if I go and check the bodies? Actually, yes. <laughs> so I, I, I can't. She does care. You can, but you know, without your weapon. And yeah, yeah, no, that's... That's... Oh yeah. If Fine. you try and conceal any of their weapons to try and bring them back in, I'll know about it. Just yeah, I mean, they are, they weren't carrying small firearms. <laughs> yeah, 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 no worries. Yeah, so I, I just... Try I, it, I, and you yeah. won't make it back in the room. Look, just look, I'm cooperating. I was fucking helping you. I'm cooperating, all right? Yeah. Just saying, I'm just saying, I don't really trust any of you right now. I'm just saying. At this point, I'm... I'm just um, anyway, I... <laughs> You know, it's you fairly... can't check without your weapon. Yeah, if yeah. You, you go. Th those, those two bodies are most definitely dead. But I mean, there are four bullets in them in total. <laughs> so you know, <laughs> you kind of get there, look at the holes you just shot into their chest, and go, "Oh wait." Hey, I uh, got shot in the face. Equally, I know. Like, even I though got I'm shot not in the med... head and still survived. So I'm just saying, it's possible. Yeah, even but that was where bullets are ideas. I can. I have seen the difference between like, obviously. Mm. If I shoot post-mortem death, like, there's not going to be blood, like, oozing out in the same way. I, okay, I no, yeah, give, me, give me a sharp roll. Give me a sharp roll. That, that, that seems like a good use of a sharp roll. Uh, yeah, so your question being, did these guys die from the gunshots or were they already yeah. dead beforehand? Yeah, no, they were dead. Their blood wasn't moving when you shot them. So. Uh, cool. Hearts weren't beating. They were, they were quite corpsified. Alright, uh, sorry, sorry, um, go, go back in, I'm just like, look, see, hand, ooh, do you want me to do a spin? Spin for you! Okay, okay, um, I was just warning that if you tried anything funny, you would not get past me. <laughs> yes, dear, you're, you're very observant. Anyway, so yeah, they were dead from before, I didn't kill them, turns out. Um, uh, so... But anyway, moving swiftly onwards, we need to work out what our plan is here. So, I'm thinking we blame Wintermute caused all this. Obviously, we all know Stein caused this. <laughs> but we blame Wintermute. Yeah, it's, you know, it's often the perpetrator that points the finger first. 
<laughs> at this point, I look at the card that's in my pocket. Yeah. And see what it says. Um... Well, yeah, at this point, because you're not in the same clothes, you're back in your real clothes, like, this this card is, is gone, um, oh. I'm afraid. It was it was a product of the dream, and much like your royal sword, your fancy livery, and, and um, I, I suppose Midnight's smart business suit, uh, or Sarah's smart business suit, they've all faded into the maelstrom. Um, yeah. Midnight, you have your tattoos back, by the way. Oh, yay. Still weird and black and pointy, but you have them back. Are you saying that my tattoos aren't nice? They they were very nice and pretty, and now they're very artistic, but, you know, black and pointy. So you're saying they aren't nice now? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't say not what? nice. I said black and pointy and scary looking. Well, fuck you. They're still very impressive Maybe works. Maybe that's what I art. like. Maybe that's what I like. Well, I don't know, but they also it's... helped you tear apart a f- bunch of people with your bare hands. So It's very true. I'm that's up to you. Up. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, none of those, like, physical objects returned to this. Except for your weird burns. Uh, yeah, Midnight, you're still in, like, a lot of physical pain. Um, and you aren't feeling any better by the minute. You you need medical attention of some kind. I have the infirmary now, so actually I kind of have the upper hand in the fact that you are all in my workspace, and I can actually make you better. <laughs> so, like... Yeah, Actually, I guess. Thanks for waiting that long to point that out, Stein. Thank well, I only leveled up after you basically barged in and started calling the shop. So, <laughs> so I think, yeah. So maybe it's like Stein like looks over at some stuff he brought down from Preed's place and like just suddenly knows how to use it. It's like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna outwardly say, oh, I can heal you all because I'm quite fucked up with all of you. That's... Thanks. Feelings mutual. Yeah. Oh, you dear. guys stormed into my place. You are in my place right now. You stormed no, in here. No. Indiv- you're, you know, it, it, you're in Cesar one, Road, it. so you're in my place. Anyway, <laughs> very productive, guys. Um, so <laughs> as I was saying, what we do is we blame the Wintermew, and it's we like... mobilize we mobilize the armed forces as we they, the Wintermew guys. We arrest the Wintermew guys we have here. We go over. We take all their medical shit, uh, and we job done. I noticed that, Pimba. <laughs> uh, cool. Okay. Um, right, mobilize the armies. Like, because the guy we killed in there, like, that was Dr. Tessio, right? That was, like, am I, I am remembering, right, that he's the head of the Wintermute guy. Maybe he's still dead. Who knows? Hmm. Oh, we can. These yeah, guys we, died in there. We can, we can offer the medical practitioners asylum instead of prison or something. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, Wintermute calls this. We go over there. We arrest. Cool. We... We protect Cecil Road. Everyone loves a good war. True. Not everyone. But a war against we had a war against ourselves. We need to we need to unite Cecil Road. And what better to unite Cecil Road than an external threat? You mean we're gonna stop having civil wars? We're gonna start having Donald well, Lux in the house. <laughs> the French during the revolution. Napoleon did it. <laughs> Tudor brings up Napoleon, and you're like. The I, fuck? I know who Napoleon is. Yes. Good. <laughs> People like him. having someone to hate. We it give him someone to hate. didn't work. Let's not follow in his footsteps. We're not going to invade a really cold place. I mean, yeah, but... why would we do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Let's not do that. Let's be okay. vaguely uh... civilized human beings. Yeah, no. But yeah, I, I see no... To be honest, I'm cooling off now. I see no reason... To, to do anything to Stein, he did his own thing for his, re- his own reasons, and anyway, he only has seven days to live, so it's fine. That what? is a, f- yeah, that that Empire guy said you guys need yeah, to. Yeah, I know, but Stein doesn't know this. Stein doesn't just get out and think, hmm. Yeah, it, yeah, I've got about seven days. Oh, oh you, were, you were you were present for that hard. conversation. You were you were, you were present. You were in pain, but you were present. I thought I was passed out. No, 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 no. You were conscious. You heard you heard that whole exchange and saw the cool, weird okay. like pr- uh, preparation for coronation thing go down, stuff like that. Cool. So yeah, you you know that this weird icy pain in your chest apparently is a seven day death ticker. Cool. So if, you know you guys don't mind, um, I'll just rest up and prepare for war times. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, cool. Sounds good. So everyone in agreement then. We go blame Wintermute. Uh, I'm going to leave that to you, boss man. 
because uh, I'm shit at persuading people. Uh, so yeah, if you do that, um, cool. We can resolve all this, and everything gets dealt with. Can I read Cheetah? Absolutely. I would like to read Cheetah at this point. Roll that sharp. Anyone can get sharp or sexy or weird whenever they Oh, even violent whenever they damn well please. Cool is a little harder to do at will. You have three questions to ask of Tudor from that list across the course Sick. of this next little in of this interaction. Uh, I'm uh, I'm going to ask a couple immediately. Um, just need to bring up the basic moves. While you're doing that, by the way, I just got a tweet from um, Geeky Nonsense, one of our dear regulars, who is in the car and has this playing over the radio, which is awesome. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> awesome. Cheers, Jess. It's so nice hearing that we're live on radio, two I, platforms at once. I know, right? It's so multi Especially if my housemates get it working on the TV as well. We'll be so many places. <laughs> okay, um, I want to know what Tudor is really feeling. Uh, Tudor, what are you really feeling? Um, kind of excited that my destiny is approaching, and at the same time pissed off with Stein for disobeying me. <sighs> disobeying you? How? <laughs> I mean, anyway. Midnight had to calm the situation down. As the, the definition of you not def immediately yeah. obeying. Right. I think and that might be a, uh, an idea of um, maybe Tudor's mindset, where not obeying him immediately is disobeying him. Okay. Well, you um, threatened me, so... Okay. Um, with these questions, can I make them more specific as long as I keep the wording? Um... You'd assume so. Which which question are you talking about? I'm looking at what does your character intend to do. Can you be more specific instead of just like, oh well, I'm going to go and conquer. What intend to do to you? I think you can you can that. stretch the um you can stretch the time scale maybe um well, or you or you could ask for instance you could ask um like what is your character intent like to do about that the <laughs> art being what does what does Tudor intend to do with Stein slash his equipment and dominion. Dominion. <laughs> like, well, his workplace, like, slash and burn. I love how Stein uses a different term for, like, a, a slightly more medieval term. And it's like, hell no, from Tudor, who's just gone in yeah, like, I'm the king. my shit. <laughs> it's my word. That's in my lexicon. You can't fucking use it. Um, what I intend to do with your machinery. Well. No, Stein and his machinery. Well, hopefully. So, like, us as a collective. I will look to put Stein in his place, but I'm not going to do anything to his workshop. Yeah, Stein is very useful. That's all. So you're going to do that. Okay, I think I may as well, because this is coming to an end. Um, how could I get Tudor to regard Stein as an equal? Oh, damn. I mean, does Tudor regard anyone as an equal? You'd have to be another king. <laughs> well, to quote a meme, what's a mob to a king, what's a god to a... What's a, god to a, what's a king to a god, what's a god to a non-believer? Yes. So, um, right, we, we are just reclaiming Joe. Uh, you, yeah, this essay is due Monday. Um... <laughs> What was the question? Sorry. Um, how do I uh, get Tudor to uh, to see Stein as an equal? You can't. Is it's just it's physically. So is is there like any a leeway there of like Tudor doesn't have equals in his eyes, but maybe yeah. he could Stein could prove himself less a troublesome element and more a trusted confidant or something well, or like Tudor already allies him as like a useful expert, mm. which is why he wants to get him under his thumb. <laughs> okay. Exactly. So he, I'm just trying to. So, so the is val Stein is valuable, but Tudor wants to subjugate him. Okay, but because is there any that. way for him to so to widen the scope into both of your personalities? Is there any way for Chu uh, for Stein to get from like just useful person to be bossed about to like person who has like a, a decent amount of set, like a, a, an advisor? So independent almost. Yeah. Yeah, almost independent status. Is an advisor independent? Yeah, I guess. I guess it's with Would their own, not. their own, their his his own level of agency. I suppose independence is like you can leave. 
It's probably the closest that that's going. Well, to be an advisor, you would not you need let to, Stein leave. <laughs> you need yeah. to show some like outward display of loyalty, like Lux did during the revolution, and like Midnight did in the past, but not so much now. But kind of expects that from Midnight, as that's her nature. So she's more tolerant of Midnight, kind of being on the verge of betrayal, because he ex he expects him to always be on the Tudor to be on the winning side. So he mm. doesn't actually expect Midnight to ever fully betray him. Yeah, you know that Midnight will always be on the winning side, and so you're like, well, that's me. <laughs> yeah. So basically, you need to somehow regain my trust, and not act like a crazy person. Not like threaten to jack everyone into the uh, into the psychic maelstrom every five seconds. <laughs> Stop barging into my workshop and un un you know uninvited and threatening me. That's a good step. You don't but get yeah. as, as far as Tudor is involved. He is king, so everything is technically his. As mm. far as Stein's concerned, he's <laughs> got knocked out of his, out of heaven. He is going to reclaim that. Yeah, if he's threatened. Well, I, mean, I don't. Yeah, regardless, this is a one-way comp. This is just, yeah, this is the read that you get off of um, okay, Tudor Stein. Fine. I feel like he's yeah. basically he's like, you, you, the, the way that you can get Tudor to regard you as more than a troublesome element he needs to subjugate um, is to basically try and be less insane. <laughs> and yeah, I, I less I'm, I'm, twitchy on the trigger finger. Okay, so basically become a devout Tudor follower or... Deceive him into thinking that. D display loyalty to Tudor and slash or his cause. Okay. Precisely. Cool. Um, so, when's the next meeting? Like, I'd like some notice before you guys barge in here next, you know? Well, I mean... You... Meeting? You'll be called when the meeting is next. You may want to, like, you know, there's the I rest of the infrastructure of this place. See how things are going. I, I will just point out, you just unleashed a massively unprecedented psychic event on a population of a yeah. town. This is why I'm saying we blame it Stein's on the wind not park. Yeah. The wind park not the wind mute. Uh, I'm, I'm less like telling you, what it's, but does it uh, probably strikes at least a few of you to maybe go, maybe we should like see how everyone else is? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that, that, that is basically, Lux is like, come on guys, we need to like actually get a plan and a unified plan and go now. Cool. Cool. Does Midnight have two cents to chip in? Nope. Just down there. Just shirtless. Just like, yep. Silently observing. <laughs> being being like, silently observed. We're just thinking in her head like, you guys are all fucking idiots. <laughs> I could do this so much better. I was literally, so I'm literally just like, I'm not even going to entertain arguing with you guys because there is just no point. So I'm just not even going to get involved in that. Just... <laughs> yeah. so me nice out of if, that. It's so nice if actual Chip just accepted that we were right as well. <laughs> what? Anyway, Tudor at this point goes, right, we're done. I'll go and announce to the population and get them to basically wave them into mute and find out what's going on. So I leave the room and on my way I pick up my gun and sword. Cool, yeah. You, you gather your assorted bits and pieces. Um, yeah, so I, I assume that the, the, the normal weapons are being carried. Um, can, is I, every... can I also take uh, his sniper, the guy's sniper rifle? Absolutely. I, add, add a sniper rifle from cool. the... And what did the other guy well, Probably a hunting again? rifle, probably better than this. Uh, I think he's just carrying like a SMG, I think we said. Can I take that as well? Sure. <laughs> else does. Do they have any money? Um, not nothing like big. Well, I think the stats for that. So. Oh, and yeah, as I, I, I just, I just take the guns. Um, I see Lux leaving the bodies. Just be like, yeah, yeah, we we probably want to deal with them as I walk off, kind of leaving her to deal with it. Cool. Yeah. Um. I, I say, well, we're sticking to the line, right? <sighs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, so yeah, who goes where? Who's doing what? I'm Lux going... is going to sort bodies. Tudor, uh, Tudor's headed back up to his uh, his quarters. Midnight. I'm waiting for him to fucking leave. <laughs> Midnight is just. You've, you've got a choice of sticking around and annoying Stein, uh, helping Lux with the bodies, wandering off with Tudor back up to the uh, 
semi lap of luxury, or you know, fucking off and doing your own thing. But uh, yeah. I'll stay with Stein just in case. <laughs> still, there's still a topless woman in your workshop, buddy. Under normal circumstances. Maybe because I know it's gonna fuck Stein up the most. Okay. Yeah, so, um, yeah, like, I think there's probably a dumpster or something, like, there's the part of, like, this, this junk heap can, you can just throw these bodies into, there's nothing particularly, like, and... I'm not throwing the bodies. Okay. You want, you're just not doing anything with them, or what's the plan no, with that? No, well, yeah, because the thing is, we're blaming this on the Wintermute. Remember? I was very clear <laughs> about this, and, like, bodies just don't, just don't just go missing, so, um... I'm probably going to um, uh, the nearest phone I can find that's not in Stein's workshop, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm placing a call up to the barracks. No response. Uh, at which point, uh, I place a call to what the front gates. No response. Place a call to every kind of place I expect there to be people. And I'm going to give you in list no response, no response, no response. I'm going to open my brain to the psychic maelstrom. Okay. Give me a weird roll. In search of what the fuck has happened to everyone. Because mm -hmm. we've all woken up. Yep. Oh, they, they can't all be dead. Hopefully that would not be great. Uh, no, that couldn't possibly be that. I only killed like four people. <clears throat> Yay! I actually went well for once. Uh, there is not. There are four living souls in the entirety of Cecil Road. Oh, Kalikalai, uh, wonderful fucking day. Uh, at which point... And a bunch outside who all, like, seem odd. Like, they aren't... Like, the souls will register, like, kind of... you got a core and then a bunch of emotions around them like everyone else is. And outside there's a bunch that don't seem to have... Like, they just are kind of, like, solid. They don't seem to really cool. be feeling oh, anything. Yeah, the, the and they're the standing in the snow. The moment I, 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 I immediately run straight back in to where the thing, it really, like, just like, guys, everyone's dead. There's nice zombies outside. To the front gate, now. I'm going to go find Tudor. Go, 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 go. <laughs> and then leg it. Cool. Um, and Midnight and Stein. What are you doing in reaction to that news? <laughs> uh, getting buffering problems. Uh... uh that all buffered, I heard none of that. Okay, so, yeah, Lux ran in and said... Um, everyone's, absolutely everyone inside is dead. There's ice zombies outside. Get to the front gate. Go, 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 go. And lagged it. So we're in Game of Thrones, really. Take it from what you will. We're in, we're in Game you of have I, mean, I don't actually know there's ice zombies. I just yeah. know there's things outside. Lux spread their awareness, got some readings, and has made, drawn conclusions. Uh, and it's lagging after Tudor. Mm -hmm. as as okay, so yeah, you two, what do you what do you do in immediate reaction to being told all your friends are dead and your town is about to be invaded by a bunch of well, in his word in Lux's words, ice zombies. Santa me. No, that's two. Yeah, no, uh, so these two. Stein and midnight. Stein and midnight. Okay, so I'm going to roll my eye on the door move, which I mean, gives me an escape route, basically. But, like, uh, the, the, there's no current dangerous situation. You're just in a room. There's no current danger. What? Uh, except... Did you just hear that? I mean, yeah, but, like, the escape route from Cecil Road is the front gate. <laughs> or locking that. Well, why can't we lock the front gate? Well, you can, but you need to get up there. I mean, you, you're not. Re you're in like four floors below ground, and yeah. How can they get into the building realistically? I mean. How can they? How can they even get in? Well, the there's there's a giant every... fuck off service lift it's, that it's takes cars idea. and things it, down. It, who knows how they can get in? It's a good idea to get to the best way they can yeah. get in. There's a giant service lift upstairs that assuming... usually has guards that apparently. I... There are why, none there. Why are you assuming that they're smart enough to be able to use the service lift? Lux is gone. Why are you assuming that? Lux is gone, God. He's you, Lux isn't there. You just got told there's a bunch of ice zombies outside. Danger. <laughs> and yeah. And I'm questioning the, the likelihood of them being able to get downstairs. Yes. 
Well, that's that's you monologuing. Um, unless Stein has a response to that. Stein is not inclined to answer. Stein lights a cigarette and is not phased. <laughs> so, ice zombies outside, and you two are like, nah, zombies that exist. Because not all, not... not all zombies. <laughs> well, that's the thing. If things kick off, Stein has a reflex. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> you guys put this on yourselves. Yeah, good luck with that. Um, and I have, I have two other options. I'm weighing up, but I'm not going to immediately jump to and say, "Hey guys." Here's my plan. Option one, option two, option three. Yeah, Fuck you fine. guys. I mean, I'm not even there. I'm chasing after Tudor, so... Exactly. And you guys have just kind of barged in. I'm, you know... I, I will act when I'm ready. Yeah, okay, so Lux, uh, so it's midnight. Do you have an immediate... <laughs> do you have an immediate action, or do you just go, Fuck you, and make coffee? <laughs> I'm literally just like, well, I don't see the real danger, because I don't see how they're going to be able to get past the front gate. I don't see how they're going to get four floors down this fucking building. I mean... So, you know what? Fuck Giant me. elevators have buttons inside. Like you know that they can be operated, and also you know they're usually guarded, I, right? The, the the front doors are usually guarded, right, by people with guns. I still don't. Who like, are I apparently still don't dead. Think they have the ability to get downstairs. So I'm just like, you know what? This is no. just like <laughs> not, stupid. Not all very... zombies, guys. Not all zombies. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Lux is running away like shit. <laughs> and yeah, midnight and started with it. <laughs> And start I smoking. Do, do one moment Fantastic. Defense. One moment defense of the entire town. In Fantastic. This is great. I'm literally in the same position of Stein in just the... Yeah, okay. actually care? Like, that's just the same as hearing that the sun just rose in the sky in a regular morning. Like, what? Everyone is dead. Just fine, guys. No worries. <laughs> who's, who's freaking out about this? Not midnight. Oh dear. Okay, yeah. So Lux, you run after you run after Stein. Um, oh, it was Tudor. Tudor, sorry. Um, yeah. Short order catch up. So I assume Tudor isn't running. So like, are you? Uh, so like, in possibly in like the uh, the little secret staircase. Yeah. I I, I actually I went past like. Everyone is dead. There's ice zombie things outside. I'm going go to front gate. Meet me at the front gate. I'm getting the tank. I think we're gonna fucking need it. Um and. Basically, just keep on running. Keeps running up the stairs past Tudor. Uh, yeah, Tudor, reaction to that? I head towards the tank. Cool. Okay, you guys are running for the tank. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Meanwhile, you come out of. No. Coffee is brewing. Yeah. <laughs> Cat two mugs of coffee are poured. Sip. Cigarette pull. <laughs> it's like. Yeah, you um you come out on the, in the courtyard of Cecil Road, and there's someone standing up in the middle of it. Um, what me me and yeah. Lux? Yeah, you and Lux, like, because I presume you both make a like run up the stairs. You come out into the courtyard of uh, like your little compound, and yeah, l like all over the floor, there's like bodies just lying down as if they'd fallen asleep or something like that, and none of them moving. But in the middle, there's just one standing bolt upright. Is there a body near me? Um, yeah, yeah, probably. Well, I just go go over the, the the body, kind of silently, quickly, and check check for pulse. I assume they're dead. Um. Is yeah, that... you check for pulse. There is no pulse. Um, Johnny, there's no souls left in the entire city. I know, yeah. but like, dead. yeah, no, but it's still, it's still. I mean, you you come in, you see a big yeah. body, load of bodies of people you know. You go and yeah, yeah. you go have a look. Um, actually, want, you as a, as a player, I know they're dead and gone, but like as Lux, yeah, Lux. you still check. Yeah, so you um you like yeah check um and yeah, there's no life responses from these bodies. Uh, I guess something just feels a little off about them. I, I think maybe like you're like, you remember like rigor mortis is a thing. Yeah. And you, but they're like it's as if they're kind of okay. Cool. They're not. They're dead, but they aren't dying. I guess is is what you get from a very quick like, huh? Okay, so shit's weird. Cool. Uh, follow up with uh, and then kind of just, huh. Uh, and then the SMG, the SMG that I took uh, from the guy, um, advanced towards the person, yelling, "Oh, put your hands in the air! Hands in the air!" Yeah. Um, um, that kind of like gently doing cop things of yelling at them a lot. It slowly spins around, and it's Margaret, um, and she kind of like lilts her head over and looks at you, and yeah, like again, there's like glassy eyes. Doesn't move her hands at all. 
Um, how are you standing? Like, jaw just drops open. And yeah, your head just kind of like starts ringing. And um, yeah, act under fire for me. Uh, not Tudor, just Lux. Marshall. Yay. Okay. Um, I'll give you XP if you kidnap Tudor. Because this, like, shri and like, God. again, you see the you image might of try. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you get this this image in your head again of this like dead woman standing on top of the metal like, um, maybe old sign or something from the top of the uh the sh the shopping center, holding our hand to you, and again bring him to me. And yeah, this time it rings more clearly in your head. Um, this time I think you can see scattered around, you see what you must have detected, and they're not ice zombies. All around this woman, on like the snow, there's a bunch of like guys who look like kind of how you did in the Maelstrom, but way beefier. And they're all like steaming, standing there completely butt-ass naked in the snow, and like not moving at all. All just staring up at her. And they're all, yeah, they're all just standing there, like, kind of massively broad across their chest, like, freakishly huge muscles and arms. And, yeah, like, when snowflakes land on them, they melt and steam off them. And they're all ghostly pale. Not a single hair on their entire bodies. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, there's, 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 like, this, this, she's pissing in, 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 definitely in fight or flight, definitely not in shoot one of the only few living people there are mode, so just holds down trigger. Cool. Yeah, you, you, does, you, not, does not let go of trigger. Yeah, you, you hose down Margaret's body and she collapses. Um, Tudor! <laughs> your aide just got shot by your right hand woman. <laughs> I mean, she was a creepy ice zombie. <laughs> yeah, I just wondered, do you, do you, like, have any particular... You can tell something odd happened there. You didn't hear... You actually, actually, no, you, um... When she opened her mouth, like, you saw this, these, like, str these strange, like, pulses moving through the air. And, like, you're kind of realising, actually, as you look at Lux, you start, you're starting to see strange colours, like, floating off of her. Like, currently there's lots of, like, um... And you recognise them as, like, it, it's, you're, you're seeing flashes of the maelstrom overlapping your regular sight. You can see the the semi-panic coming off of Lux, and nothing coming off of any of the other bodies around here. Okay, I just shout to Lux, we probably need to get to the tank fast, and continue running. Yeah, I, I, just, I, I don't, like, this lady has a hold over me, you should not be near me. You stay here, I'll, I'll deal with the zombies. Oh, that's a great plan. I love this plan. This is a really good plan. At that point, I'd just be like... I, I, I can't... I can't be... I. She will break through eventually. You can't be near me. Um... Hmm... By the way, Tudor... Again, this place... Now that you've got these weird side effects of the Maelstrom... You are feeling more access to your psychic powers than usual. So are you um, saying I can use Augury without I'm saying thought? you can certainly try using Augury, but again, if you fail, the consequences are going to be even stranger okay. than usual. I just go, right, Lux, if you, if, is there something happening, like, One second. to me, psychic-wise? Jamie, yeah. can you mute your microphone when you're eating, please? Thank you, kindly. <laughs> um, yeah. Crazy okay. ice zombie queen lady is talking to me and commanding me to take you, and I'm just about holding it off. Okay, well, I'm going to deal with that, and I just go into, like, weird psychic mode. Cool. And roll weird to do augury to do essentially the same we did to, thing we did to East Tower. Cool. Absolutely. Um, boom. So, I believe... Sorry, I'm... Did the wrong thing there. Yeah. Um, nice. Teamwork. Yeah. So that is peripheral. You are isolating and protecting a personal thing from the world's psychic maelstrom, I presume. Is that the idea? I guess. While you busily pour vodka. Um, and yeah, then... that was my aim. 
Yeah, and the idea, I suppose, is that it, 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 it's, it persisting for a while is presumably one of the two things. What are you taking for the other one? I guess it's stable and contained, no bleeding, or yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, cool. Yeah, the um, the weird layer, like kind of slight headaches, like sirenish song thing, and your head fades. However, none of these physical changes are going on. You're still um, uh, I can deal with that super warm. Right. Um, you know what? That actually helped. Here's me thinking you were slightly bullshit all this time. <laughs> uh, let's get to the fucking tank. Hopefully the others will be here soon. Luck says, hopefully. Yeah. Um, still, still believes. Yeah. So again, we get that that like pulse and like as soon as Augur is activated, visible entirely in the real world, this black line like explodes with golden light and like a giant fuck off crown is like around um Tudor's head. His rags like shine as if he's in full royal regalia, and yeah, the same kind of like armor wraps itself around Lux in kind of psychic vision, before the lights fade and, as it does, so does the the armor fades from view. Um, yeah. So yeah, you keep you running. Run for the tank. Run for the tank. Um. Yeah, I think you two down below with your slightly more. You're both a bit kind of still wired through the maelstrom. Um, and, yeah, you, uh, you, you, that, you feel that happen upstairs. Like, it's like, oh, Jesus. Um, and just, you can take that as you will. But you, uh, you, you feel the whole, like, augury powers get activated and kind of fade again. And the, the, the like same sort of like majestic like stuff that comes off of um, uh, Shooter whenever he uses this like rings in your minds. What do you do? You are referring to Midnight and Stein. Yeah, yeah. I know what the other two are doing. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if you're still there. Has been and... making himself busy actually putting a small barricade up against the door. <laughs> uh, I don't know if Midnight has any reaction to Stein doing this. No, Midnight's kind of going along with it. <laughs> it's like, hmm, cool. zombies, maybe we should, like, do that zombie movie thing. So, yeah, complete a, uh, a barricade, uh, complete with deadlocks and things like that. Um, and um, s sits down next to Midnight, pulls out another cigarette. <laughs> and he just goes, is now a good time to mention that I do actually have infirmary skills. And you Gee, look like you thanks. can do with treatment. Yeah, um, at this point, like, uh, you've actually physically exerted yourself to do things like putting barricades up. You've probably ticked up to 11 harm midnight, and you're now, like, straight up just, like, half blacking out. I'm on 11 harm. Yeah, you get steadily worse once you pass the, um, the 9 harm marker. Yeah. So, yeah, like, at this point, it's very odd. Like, she's pale, um, like, kind of going tinging green. Um, yeah, maybe you just moved the last thing, and then she just vomited on the side of the floor. <laughs> like... Midnight is in a bad way. Mhm. Mm yeah, so she's probably not in a particular state to resist. Yeah. Like resist as you like, sort of plonk her down on the um the operating table. Um. um yeah. Um. That all buffered. I caught none of that. Okay. Basically, she's in the sh she's in eleven harm, and yeah, kind of. Yeah, I was can't. asking: is has Stein suffered any actual harm, or is it just like pain and discomfort? One second, let me check some numbers. So I'm on zero harm currently. Uh, I don't want that one, I want this one. No, you're good. At the moment. Your, your chest is really cold, uh, but you're fine. Um, oh. oh. So yeah. Okay. Um, Okay. Whoa! Uh, yeah. Sorry. Um, <laughs> ma, 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 ma. Was that genuine? Sorry, my effect? iTunes decided it'd go mad. Oh dear. Okay, so yeah, you. That you is fantastic. Set to uh, fixing midnight, I suppose? Um, no, I, I was just dropping it and I wasn't really persuaded into. Uh, <laughs> Going down I mean, she's kind down. of not really. She she just vomited on the side of in in your workshop after trying to physically exert herself to help. She's, she's um, 
Yeah, what what I want to do is basically uh, administer a painkiller to sort of take away some of the uh, of the Here's pain the thing. without actually healing her. Here's the thing. You don't really have medicine. You have life I support have... machines. And you have the capacity to keep her alive. Not yeah, really the capacity to take away her pain. <laughs> don't I have some of Freed stuff? There must be some... No, that was the thing, though. Freed was fresh out of drugs. Didn't he have some kind of, like, morph morphine-type shit that... He did, which he stabbed into Midnight's leg about a week ago. Yeah. And it's now gone. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, you have, like... You could put Midnight on life support and she wouldn't die. Or you can try and, you know, go in and fix the problem and see if she can survive surgery. How bad does it hurt, Midnight? I mean, it's surgery. <laughs> no, no, you have to no. look. I mean, I'm asking. Stein is asking Midnight how bad oh, right. does it hurt. Sorry. I want her actual response. Yeah. Pretty fucking bad, and that is coming a lot from me. Yeah. You, you, you feel like you're dying. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm dying. I feel like I am dead. Yeah. Can There's I read a lot this? of pain. I would like to read Midnight. Absolutely, you can read Midnight. This is definitely a, a, a definitely. person dying is definitely a time to to a charge situation. I get one, yeah. Uh, what did you roll? Sorry. Eight. Uh, yes, that is one question. Sick. Okay. Uh. Uh, this is a tough one. Exactly which question I want to ask here. Um, what does Midnight wish I'd do? I know that sounds like a really dumb question. Yeah, I, I want... Yeah, that's it. You just want me to fix you up and take away your pain. Yeah, preferably. You know, that's the main thing. I'm going to just hook her, up, uh, hook her up to life support. Yeah, the thing is, like, so as long as she's hooked up to that, she cannot go past 12 harm and die. Without either some form of direct medical interference, which, by the way, having an infirmary, the move that it gives you is the capacity to work on a person, on work on a person, as if you were using your workspace move on tech. Yeah. Um, you don't have any pain meds or any way to knock her out other than blunt force trauma. So if you do go for that, you do run the slight risk of, you know, Midnight will be al awake and perfectly aware during but what may hands. be surgery. Um, jazz hands. Yeah. And then the other possible course is, uh, you know, Winter Meets a Giant Medical Institute filled with life-saving drugs. I like how everyone's, you know, just skimming over the part where I could just try and kill her right now. But there's also uh, that, if that's what you wanted to do, but you know. Well, yeah, I know. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to operate or even try and actually do anything. I am just going to put her on life support for now. Okay. Yeah, you can you can probably transport her. You, you do have the capacity to, uh, yeah, go full on, like, try and go Frankenstein on her. Um, yeah, I, I thought about it, and that's that, that was the difficulty, and I had to hesitate hmm. there. Do I kill her? Do I make her a cyborg? Do I try I'll give you one, one bit for I free, though. As you're, like, hooking her up to life support, you basically... There's nothing, externally at least, that you can see or tell physically wrong with Midnight. Right. Okay. So, yeah, I'll give you that for free. Um, and we'll cut away from you guys for that. Uh, I've been doing a terrible t job of keeping track of, um, how long we've been going for today, I've just realised. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll jump over to Tudor and Lux. Oh, well, so, so, Tudor, what did you do after you, uh, auguried Lux? Where have you gone, or have you followed onto the tank? We've ran towards the tank. Okay, you're, you're confident in your psychic capacity to keep, um, yep. to keep her, her safe. Cool. I got shiny armor. I was fine with it. Cool. Yeah, you, you make it to the McCraymobile. And yeah, we take the, we take the McCraymobile to the front gate. Um, where I then look through whatever system we have for seeing out the gate without opening the gate. Yeah, so you can get to like, the service elevator, which is still down. And yeah, there's like a camera feed from up top. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it just shows yeah all these like huge, over mus freakishly muscled like guys um, standing. 
butt ass naked in the snow, like just standing there, and then how many? Um, it's probably like twenty, twenty-five. But each one's about as big as a snowmobile. Um, okay, and what are the defenses that Cecil Road actually has? Like, if, I, I assume if if the compound had heavy weapon defenses, I assume the whole town had some heavy weapon defenses stuff. Um. Yeah. So. No, there's no like automated weapons or anything like that. There's yeah. no like crazy high tech fire the automatic guns. There's some reasonably heavy firepower that targets like. It's like some in place machine guns up above in the like the actual entrance of the, the shopping center and like the kind of the lobby area. Um, cool. So, uh, if you can get up there, you've got access to those. The McCrane mobile is obviously a thing. Yeah. Um, but you know, quite often the, the defenses are we've got an army of crazy badasses who are all dead. <laughs> um, and more firepower but and a very entrenched like position. Not trying to not think about that. Uh, and can I see the can I see the crazy woman out there as well? Um, Through the you can't see her on these cameras. Uh, you can't quite see the top of the like the big cool. as W on the and w. I'd like to read the situation of them being outside. Which I suppose I've already been doing. But, yeah, give me uh, give me a sharp roll. Like counting them and knowing where the guns are isn't. Um, yeah. Need those plus twos. Oh, I only get one plus two. Um, for for the viewers, I took a move, oh. which means I get plus two on when I work on things now. Okay. Oh, oh, unless unless do you want to assist me? Yeah, Tudor, do you do you assist? You definitely want to assist me right now. Um. Yeah, I'll assist him. What do I roll? Uh, you roll two d six plus your hex with Lux. So I I I, I say, what what do you think? I hand you over the thing, and you can look through it as well, and then. For me advice. Um, it's nine. Mr. Fimbar. Sorry, I was just story. just checking something. Um, okay, yes, you have. So there's a nine. Um, yeah, so. So I guess this is kind of you're using your psychic sense if you can read anything more about the situation, um, Tudor. And I'll give you the success, but I'm going to burn through one of your questions just to give you this piece of information. Cool. Um, Tudor, you like yeah, open your brain slightly, and this pulse goes out, and yeah, you get the same thing of like these guys don't have normal souls; they're like weird meatheads. Like they don't have emotions because they're too busy just being big as fuck and crazy. Oh, well, not crazy. The precise opposite of crazy. There, there's, there's no real... There's nothing going on in there. They're just, like, psychically linked. But yeah, you uh, briefly touch on the mind of this, like, kind of strange off creature that is a little higher, and they all seem to be, like, linked to her, it. And as soon as you your psyche awareness touches on on the creature, like, you get the, the full colour picture of this, this same white-haired kind of dead woman and um from she like tilts her head and then like the the world like the re this this vision peels away and you are sitting in like back in your childhood home seeing across the little floor uh playing with Ella when you're both like 4 years old not Ella Helen when you're both 4 years old and then it snaps, it's just snaps back into your body. Um, and yeah, you become intimately aware of the fact that, that this creature outside is Helen. Right. Somehow. So break! Get... <laughs> oh, break. <laughs> we'll I get to your two questions afterwards. I get to think, I get some time to think yes. about what Yes, we'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> 